Oh hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of the Barbie series. So unfortunately, despite our best efforts over the last few days to improve our grades, Barbie didn't manage to avoid the one thing she didn't want to have to do this summer. It's probably why she's crying. Nah, she's still crying because of her teacher dying. Yep, Barbie's parents have sent her to bad kids camp, which is a bit of a shame. And so that is where today's episode is going to take place. Granite Falls Camp for Bad Kids. Thankfully for us though, we were able to be enough of a bad influence to get our friends in trouble too. So they have also been sent to Bad Kids Camp. Over the next few days, we're gonna be spending our time doing team building exercises, doing relaxation techniques, basically trying to find ways to be good kids. There are a few teenagers here on the campsite. Well, I guess it's more of a, a lodge situation. This is the girls' lodge. We managed to wangle it so that we're sharing with our mates. Oh, there are some more teenagers right there. So we are predominantly, well, we're going to be staying in this lot here. This is the campground. In fact, I'll show you where I got it in the gallery. On the gallery, I should say. Here it is, Bearwood Campsite. So this is where the bad kids are going to be staying for the next few days. And fucking mean Mindy is over here as well. So hopefully we don't run into her too often. So my active household are the bad teenagers that have been sent here by their furious parents. We've been given a strict guideline of things that we have to do. I will be following that. I've been given a copy myself to, base, to complete summer camp. We do have to be careful not to fuck around because there are prefects and teachers everywhere. They're not on this lot, but they do patrol it daily and nightly to make sure that we're in our cabins at a reasonable time. <laughs> so we don't really have the option to skive off and dick about during the day. We have to do the team building activities. But you know what, Barbie? I've got a real positive attitude about this. I think we're going to have a great time. So today, Day one of Bad Kids Summer Camp. We've got a few things on the agenda today. We do have a team building activity on another lot. I've sprinkled a few different lots in Granite Falls, so we're not going to be stuck here. We're going to be traveling around the world a little bit. But seeing as it's our first day at camp, we don't really need to worry about too much before we have our team building activity on another lot. So you know what, Barbie? We can just get acquainted with the site try and prepare ourselves, you know, we've got a little bit of free time this morning and it is still early because they force us to get up at 6am, heartless swines. So let's just start our day off by meditating, shall we? Could be worse, you could have ended up sleeping in one of those shit heap tents. I think that's where the prefects do their meetings where they bitch about all the bad kids. Yeah, let's just enjoy our free time, do a little bit of relaxing, meditation, We've come here with a bad attitude, but maybe we could leave with a slightly better one, you know, more positive, optimistic outlook on life. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That's right, get into the spirit of it. Don't see this as a punishment, even though it clearly is. Just see it as, a, as an opportunity. Open your mind, make some new friends. Beat up Mindy. Okay, well, we're starting to get a little bit peckish now. And also, it looks like I might have an update on our phone. What have we got? Open social bunny. Did we get a DM or something? Ken trying to butter me up. Also, look how many followers I've got. 502. Oh. So here are my messages. Christy wants to go on vacation. Libby likes the look of my hair. She's an old friend. Remember the one that went on to have way too many children? Such a beautiful soul. Oh, Christy. Oh, that's nice. God, I've got loads of messages. You look like a shaved llama. Ah, oh, angry face. Yeah, okay, I think I'm all caught up on my messages now. One thing that I thought was quite sweet is in yesterday's episode, while we were at the funeral, I got loads of phone calls from friends offering their condolences, which was, you know, a nice touch. I don't think I've really seen that before. Okay, we're getting a bit hungry. Is there anywhere we could just make some food? Do we have to use the kitchen? I mean, we don't really know what we're doing in the kitchen. Oh, there's a grill here. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, you know what? In the camping spirit, why don't we do some marshmallows or something? That would be quite nice. Make the most of... Fucking bitch. Make the most of free time before we have to do our activity. Roast some marshmallows. And you know what? Christy, you wanted to hang out? Come roast some marshmallows with me. Oh, this is sweet. This is what camp's are all about. Not really doing anything for your hunger, though. Um, oh, I suppose it is going a bit green. We're going to need to go and take a wilderness shit at some point. 
the dreaded toilet situation. These don't look too bad, actually. These um, these camp toilets, they look okay. Probably because we're actually on a like a lodge. Let's go take a shit, and then we'll get ready for our our team building activity. We're going to be split into groups. I don't think they're going to let. I don't think the prefects are going to let us do it with like just our friends. I think we're going to be like divided, which is a bit shit. But as long as we don't end up with Mindy, that's fine. There's not really a great amount of things to do on the actual site. We've got a game of horseshoe over here. I suppose we could play some guitar maybe, maybe later on this evening. I know there's a bar somewhere in Granite Falls, so we'll definitely hit that for our first night. We'll sneak out, telescope, do a bit of stargazing. But yeah, okay, I think it's probably time that we head to our activity. So in our group, we're with Teresa, Jada, and Donovan. Okay, so this is team building area one. The other team have gone to the second one, which I guess we'll be going to tomorrow. So the first thing on the list is we've got to take care of some insects. So we've got to do some beetles, some crickets, and some grubs. We're not going to fuck around with those bees today. I think we'll just leave them be. You know what, Barbie? I know you're really sad about your teacher and everything, but... You're kind of bringing me down, like she's just sulking all over the shop, so I'm just gonna go and remove that mood buff. I know you're sad about your teacher dying, but you know, you really can't let it get you down. So let's nurture these. I'm guessing tomorrow's group will be the ones that actually get to um, collect from these fuckers, but you know, teamwork, I guess. Oh my god, how many ducks are in this thing? That's a lot of ducks in quite a small space. I think there's also a crocodile down here. Oh shit, there it is. The ducks are floating. This isn't part of the storyline, this is just me. This is just my curiosity. Hey buddy, how you doing? Can I go under even further? Oh shit. You can't have a pond like this and not go for a little explore every now and again. See, we got some fish, they look like, uh, they look like Japanese koi carp to me. What are you, cod? Quite a narrow space down here. Oh, a goldfish. I wonder if I'll see that alligator again. No, I think he's gone. He's gone to go haunt another pond. Oh well, that was fun. Okay, so we're nurturing those. The actual team building activity though, in case you can't tell, is we have to work together to construct a tree house. That is bonding activity number one. <laughs> what I would like to have done would be to have them build like a, like a little boat or a catamaran or something, but unfortunately you don't have the option of doing that in The Sims 4. Even though this is the perfect place to do something like that. Oh, we've got cheerleading in an hour. I th Well, we're not going to go to cheerleading. We're going to skip it. I keep trying to focus on the treehouse, but I just keep getting distracted by these swamp beasts. Now I know why I don't create ponds very often. They're just far too distracting for me. Guys, can you either get a fucking room or pick up a hammer? May as well be doing this by myself. Teresa's not even helping. Oh, I think he's got a crush on that other girl. That's kind of cute. Yep, this treehouse is coming along nicely. Kind of looks like shit right now, but I'm sure with a bit of time and effort and teamwork, Teresa, you'll be able to get it built a lot faster, Teresa. Okay, someone has... Honestly, I may as well be doing this shit by myself. Right, I don't want to be paired with you two anymore. You guys are kind of pissing me off. Oh, we've made more progress. We've got our decking, we've got our ladder. By the time we finish building this house, those two are probably just going to go in there and we won't see them for the rest of this trip, which suits me, to be honest. Selfish assholes. How dare they be flirty and happy when we're so sad. Fuck you. Oh shit, look who's back. Scaly, slippery fucker. Okay, just one last time, I just wanted to check out its ass. Oh, there he goes again. Well, we're, bu we're building our skills at least. We're handiness level two, and that will come in handy, I'm sure, throughout our lives. Guys, can you help? I hate these guys. Oh, do everyone a favor, just swallow some nails. I might hire a vendor for this little this little van because everyone's probably getting a bit peckish. So on the agenda, when we finish the treehouse, we'll probably stop and get a little, a quick little something to eat, and then we each have to go wandering the forest to try and find some insects to collect. Oh, are we done? Is that it? Doesn't look very complete to me. Looks uh, pretty unfinished actually. But you know what? That's good enough. That will do for me. We never said we were going to do a good job. Okay, let's just grab something quick. Uh, what's a, a quick thing? Cricket meal. Oh, I'm curious. Beetle stir fry, popcorn crickets. Oh, right, I'm curious. Let's get a cricket meal. I want to see what this is all about. Cricket meat, Erica. What the fuck is going to be on this plate? 
Is that it? What the fuck? This is my cricket meal. Oh, you could see the cricket heads and that must be the guts. Ugh, oh, nature. You enjoying your crickets? She doesn't have any kind of mood buff. All right, well, I guess we better try and hunt for some... Oh, there's some bugs right there. Bumblebees? We can add them to our little bee farm. Well, that was easy. Oh no, did we get stung? What a miserable pain. Uh-oh. I wonder if we need to get some insect repellent or like some treatment. I mean, I, I have no idea. I never play in Granite Falls, so I have no idea whether we need to take some kind of medicine for that. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, no, it's fine. We don't need to take any medicine. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'd like to try and find maybe one more harvestable before we go, and then we get free time this evening again. Oh, there's Teresa. Oh, what about this? Unidentified fruit. So let's just harvest that, and then we're done, and then we can enjoy going for some beers, or some nectar, or whatever people drink in the woods. Yeah, we do dislike gardening, actually. We hate it. Nature is not for us. Okay, well, I guess we better head back to the campsite, rejoin the girls, you know, Christy and Midge, see what, sh see what fuckery they've been up to today. And then we'll see if we can go and find some cabin boys. Okay, is everyone here? Are all the girls here? Where's Mitch? Mitch is, for some reason, swimming in the lake. Okay, well, it's 9 p.m. I think we better, we better sneak out before the prefects see us. We'll just take the girls this time. It looks like Teresa's swimming as well. Come on, girls, we're hitting the bar. What should we get? Maybe, maybe a few beers? A few cabin beers? Uh -huh. Oh, girls' club gathering. Okay, this is kind of a, a low-key bar... Well, it's a cabin, really, that's been transformed into a bar. We'll order drinks for the group. What should we get? Kind of feel like, actually, instead of beers, we should go for a sea splash. I feel like I don't see that option often at the bar. So I think let's go... Oh, they're adoring. Yeah, let's go get some sea splash. Girls, come on, you're going to get caught standing out there. Simon... <laughs> Simon Silver Sweater as part of Bang Bash 3. That is a Let's Play I made a couple of years ago now that is no longer allowed on YouTube where we made groups so that we could run a brothel in The Sims 4. Those were the days, weren't they? Oh, good times. Bit dead in here, isn't it? Maybe we should have some tunes going? That's better, a little bit of retro music. How are your needs doing, Barbie? Oh, we need to take a shit, do we? Well, there's a bathroom right there. Go use it, girl. Only in The Sims 4 would you have a global superstar dressed as a knight turn up to a cabin bar in the middle of the woods. Oh wait, maybe it's a costumed event or like a themed event here because quite a few of them are dressed as knights. Barbie, where did you put your drink? Did you already get it down the hatch? Okay, let's just grab one more. One more drink and then we'll call it a night. Simple glass of wine. She's ordering from the toilet. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Just got to get to my wine, get out the way. There we go, okay. Balance is restored. Can't have a bad kids camp without a little bit of underage drinking. Hey, girls. Yeah. Right, you guys better drink those quickly because we have to go back to the cabin, like, now, really. Anything new on social, Bunny? Oh, somehow I've gone back to having zero followers. <laughs> okay. Not really seeing much, not really seeing anything new. I've always been so jealous of kids that get to go to American summer camps. They always look so fun in the movies. I wonder if they're that fun in real life. Right, okay, guys, that's enough. I think we have to head back now before we get caught. We'll sneak back into our cabin. Hopefully no one will see us. All right, everyone, just be quiet. Mitch, Christy, shut the fuck up. All right, inmates, time to get up. Come on. I know, I know, no one likes waking up. Even Barbie's woken up in a pissy mood, which is so unlike you, isn't it? Yeah, you're usually the life and soul of the party, aren't you? Donovan just became good friends with Jada. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Do not slam that door. Also, Bobby, I'm not sure that heels are really the best outfit to wear. Mindy. This is nice, though. Even though we hate getting up early, it's nice to have breakfast outside, isn't it? In nature. Okay, Bobby, I'm going to get you changed into something a little bit more nature appropriate just before you get attacked by flies. There we go. That's probably a bit better for you. Who the fuck are you waving at? You know what I like, though? Teresa and Midge just completely blanked her. That is a loyal girl squad right there. Sorry, Mindy. Blanked. Yeah, that's what happens. She's still got that sour look on her face. Okay, we have a busy day, just like yesterday. Busy day of team building activities today. Well, not so much team building. More like focusing on the individual skills today. So, Barbie, I'm going to get you and your, your little group. So who's in our group? Teresa... 
and these two lovebirds. Okay, so we're in the forest area for this activity. This time we are doing observational painting, or I guess just classic paintings because none of you have any real skills. Okay, now take that brush and paint your feelings. Oh, you know, watching this activity for me, it has a similar effect to watching a sim go to a spa. It's just very calming. Teresa, if you could refrain from taking selfies. Fucking hell. This is the 80s, remember? Oh, that is coming along nice, Barbie. That looks like pouring rain in the night sky, perhaps. You haven't done anything. You're spending the whole time flirting with her. This guy just doesn't like hard work, does he? What are you doing? It looks like the end of a cat's tail. Maybe, maybe it's a self-portrait. Maybe that's your scraggly hair there in the wind. Oh, and Teresa's doing the same painting. These teens and their fucking selfies. Guys, come on. I almost feel like it would have been a nice touch if cell phones uh, didn't work in Granite Falls. Or at least there could be like maybe a lock trait that just says no signal. That would be perfect. Not only would that help with places like this, but it would also help if you were doing like a, a history piece, you know, like history let's play. You could just add that lot trait to every lot they go on. That is a genius idea, even if I do say so myself. Okay, have you actually started painting now? So Barbie has somehow managed to become the only original painter in this class. Either that, or this is an observational drawing, and Barbie just hasn't understood the assignment, and everyone else is doing really well. Oh, Barbie, that is breathtaking. So it was pouring rain, I was right. What is that, like a little lighthouse or something? A little castle in the distance? That's actually almost poetic, Barbie. Let's stick that in your inventory. Good going, girl. The other three are pretty shit compared to yours, like cartoony. Has anyone else finished? Okay, yeah, Teresa has finished. So in that case, Barbie and Teresa, you guys can just play a bit of horseshoe after Teresa's finished taking a shit in that bush. <laughs> yeah, you guys have a go at horseshoe. What else have we got here? We've got some flower arranging. So maybe we could practice some flower arranging. Oh, this guy feels so inspired he's gonna start another painting. Little bit of first person? Why not? Little bit of first person. Are we gonna get it in? No, we're gonna, we're gonna miss miserably, just like everything we do. Okay, try again, try again. I'm sure we can get it in. How hard can it be? It's just a stick. No, I guess, it, I guess it's harder than it looks, huh? Uh. Can I steal these paintings? Oh yeah, I can. Okay, great. Well, in that case, it's a paycheck right there, isn't it? I've never let my Sims complete a game of horseshoe because I remember it taking a very long time. So I guess this actually puts it to the test. How long does a game of horseshoe really take? Fucking ages is how long it takes. Okay, well, I think they've all decided to stop playing, even though the game's still going on. And now a bear's turned up. I guess that's what happens when you recklessly hang out in the middle of a, be a bear that is part of a brothel group. <laughs> well, you know, bears just like to have fun too. Okay, well, I think perhaps we should have a little bit of lunch. So you are going to light a fire. We'll have everyone come and roast some hot dogs. And then, Barbie, maybe you can come play guitar for everybody. Annoyingly, she's facing away. I re I didn't realise you had to have the guitar in your inventory to actually play by the fire, but never mind, never mind, they can still hear it. We still have the ability to show off, which is really what this is all about. Finding any way we can to show everyone how much better we are at things than them. Okay, well, if everyone has had their veggie dog, you want to get a little little veggie dog there? And then maybe we'll tell a group story? Okay, everyone shut the fuck up. We are speaking, and we're about to tell a scary story. Once upon a time, there was this evil sim named Mindy. It's based on a true story. And she went to school with the most beautiful princess. Trouble was, Mindy was so jealous that she tried to steal her style. Until one day, the beautiful, stunning, gorgeous princess decided to free herself of Mindy's reign of terror by tying some bricks to her feet and throwing her in the lake. The end. I don't know about you guys, but I love it when stories have a happy ending. Okay, I think we're about done here. We've done everything we can. Let's move on to the next site. This this next place we're going to, I think it'll be pretty quick. We won't be there for very long. Just a team building activity. So now we are at Crocodile Lake. And I think we're gonna have to work in pairs for this one. That is if you can. I don't, th I don't know if you can go on a catamaran as a pair. No. Okay, so we're just gonna have to have two people do it at the same time. So, I am gonna have two sims sail around 
Barbie, I think we'll go for a little bit of first person. So this area is swarming with crocodiles, but they're pretty difficult to spot. I guess Barbie's decided she's going to try and fish one out. Not sure how that's going to work for you, Barbie. Oh shit, I'm seeing a few crocodiles. In fact, I'm seeing two. It looks like maybe Barbie has caught a crocodile. And I can see a couple more over here. Oh shit, man, loads of crocodiles. Okay, yeah, it definitely is quite infested. Why don't we go swim? Swim here together. Let's swim around with the crocodiles. Let's go. Maybe we won't... Maybe we'll get lucky and we won't get eaten. Oh, first person account of seeing crocodiles in the water. Where did they all go? I'm not seeing any. Did they just all disappear at the same time? Maybe that's like a glitch. Crocodiles disappear when sims are in the water. I don't understand why, though. I don't think crocodiles actually do anything. I think we might just have to be patient, guys, okay? If we just swim around, maybe we'll see some. We want a first-person encounter with a crocodile. And this is what camp is all about. Lounging together, barely clothed in filthy water. Oh, seeing something over here. Okay, if I, I wonder, if I swim over there, will those crocodiles disappear? I can see their little heads bobbing. I think one of them's disappeared, but one of them is still there. Can I interact with it? Can't interact with it, but I can swim over to it. I'm sure there's nothing to be scared of. They seem like real friendly crocodiles. I can't go under the water because it's a swimming pool, but we're basically standing in the middle of a crocodile right now. I think he's going away. Yeah. Well, I think that was probably about as successful as it's going to get. We got about as up close and personal. I mean, we got inside a crocodile. If that's not a true camping experience, I don't know what is. I think maybe our little team building efforts are done now. I think we should head back to camp. And um, maybe have like, I don't know, we could have a big dinner together. Maybe we'll do a little cookout by the tents. Okay, I'm thinking let's go find a grill. We'll get some hot dogs going. We'll get everyone together. Be good if someone brought some speakers. Oh, wait, no, it's the 80s, yeah. Of course, of course. Oh, Midge is already grilling. Let's grill, um, let's do some hot dogs. And then we can we can call to meal and we'll all eat together as a group. Because I feel like we've really bonded with everyone, except Mindy. Thanks to those team building exercises. Try not to start a fire now. Oh, look at that. Feast. Hot dogs, burgers. Any veggie burgers going? Nah. Oh, there's just such a peace out here. Just peace and quiet. You can hear the birds singing. It's kind of therapeutic, actually. I should come to Granite Falls more often. Let's get a hot dog. Oh shit, where's the fire? Who started a fire? Where is it? It's over here. Whose chair was on fire? Oh fuck. Okay, well can someone can someone extinguish this? Mindy's developed a fear of fire. Guys, come on, just pull it together. Okay. Barbie's here to save the day as usual. Okay, there we go. Nothing to be afraid of. Just a little bit of fire that has singed these two chairs. And now she's taking a selfie. Make sure you let the rest of the world know how brave you were today, Barbie. What's the point of doing good deeds if you can't tell everyone about it? You know, it's weird though. I kind of thought being here might be fun. You know, might help take our mind off of the things that have been going on lately. But I can't help but feel like you've still got Ken in the back of your mind, Barbie. If only our teacher was still alive. She always gave pretty good advice. Oh, hang on. I think I've just had an idea. If we can't talk to our teacher at school, then we'll just have to find another way to make her talk. Okay, everyone, just concentrate. Okay, I think I'm getting something. She's sending a message. I think what she's saying is, I need to somehow do something that will help me find it in my heart to forgive Ken. I think I know what the answer is. Okay, well, you know what? I think maybe I might now finally be able to find it in our heart to forgive Ken after he kissed Mindy. Yeah, forgiveness is beautiful, isn't it? And that's really what this channel is all about. Teaching people to forgive one another. A little bit of first person? Why not? Very nice. Really becoming part of nature, I feel. And on that note, Barbie still has a few days left at summer camp, but I'm think, I think I'm going to let her fend for herself now. I think she can handle the rest of this trip on, on her own. So on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.